everybody. Welcome to Capital Combat. The name says it all. I'm Hakeem Branch. Rob Jerome. And today we're going to talk about this Friday's lightweight title matchup between Robert Easter Jr. and Dennis Shafikov. This is going down on uh, Bounce TV, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, part of the PBC umbrella of fights, but it's for the IBF lightweight title. Mm -hmm. Take away, Rob. All right, so this fight is going to be pretty interesting. We've seen um, Robert Easter Jr. have um, some really good fights against Richard Comey, and then we saw him have a decent fight against Luis Cruz in his last outing, which he looked okay. Both of those were 12-round decisions, one split decision, the other one unanimous. So he's gotten some good rounds under his belt, and he has a lot of talent. What we're looking for in this fight to see if he can put the cherry on top and see how big of a real deal he is because Luis Cruz, Rich Comey, not really money fights, Dennis Shabakov, good fighter, had some losses that were a little hard, had some pretty good wins, um, and he's been chomping at the bit for a shot at a title for quite a while, probably the last... He's had two shots. He's just come up short in those two shots. Well, yeah, but in that his losses were to um, Rancis Bartolome and uh, right. Mc Miguel Vasquez. Miguel Vasquez. Yeah. In which, going into this fight, um, he's like a mini Provodnikov. Yeah. He he a he, mini he, Southpaw Provodnikov. Yeah. He yeah. he hits hard. Um, he wants to get you against the ropes, and he wants to tee off. The problem is he's not in the same vein as Provodnikov because Provodnikov uses a footwork and punches you into the corner. Yeah. He, he makes you retreat. Shavikov does not punch you into the corner. He uses his footwork and provides pressure, which is not a bad thing. Yeah. But against Easter and any of the guys that he's lost against, that is a bad thing because they can outwork them. They're not afraid to let their hands go in pressure. And a guy like Easter, who's 5'11", and Shavikov being 5'5", five five, um, you're just not going to be using your footwork because as soon as you come in, you're going to get hit. Easter will let his hands go. He's got really long arms. He's got that decent power. Decent power, and he knows how to maintain distance with that. And he can actually fight pretty well on the inside. So let's not say that. He can't fight on the inside, but for something like this, mid to long range, he's going to be able to move. He's not going to move straight back, and he's going to take advantage of every opportunity to land punches that he can. Right. And the, the good thing about Shafikov is, even though he's almost completely inactive in the center of the ring, and like Rob said, he kind of just uses his footwork to follow you to the ropes, once he gets you there, he lands some very quality shots. So that's going to be the story of the fight. The, the quality of the shot Shavikov lands when he gets Easter to the ropes, how often he can get him to the ropes to land those shots, and can he do that before Easter just piles up the points on him in those rounds? Because if he's working, 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 and then Shavikov finally gets him to the ropes, lands like two to three good hard punches, but he's eating like 12 in order to get those two to three hard punches, what are the judges going to be looking at? And then, like, after those two, three punches, Easter gets out of there, reset, and he peppers him some more with more shots. Like, we just saw uh, Sergey Kovalev be very competitive in two fights with Andre Ward off of activity. And it wasn't that he was being super effective, especially in the second fight. Mm -hmm. But he was so active and accurate with at least his jab that he was still in that fight. So if Easter can do something similar where he's just touching Shafikov, throwing punches, even if they're not all landing, and then Shafikov lands maybe one or two good shots after a volley of punches from Easter, what are the judges going to be looking at? And we tell you all the time that judging is a subjective thing. It's not an objective thing. As much as people keep that fallacy out there, it's not true. It depends on what the judges like to see. And maybe the judges are going to like Shakov just walking forward. Like, say, like a, if Harold Letterman was judging this fight, he's walking forward, he's winning the fight. Mm -hmm. So that's the main thing about this fight. As far as a P 
pick for the winner. I do think that Easter's activity, him being in his hometown with that crowd, everything he lands is going to cause a reaction from them. They're going to celebrate it. And you won't get the same thing from Shafkal. So the crowd's going to be on his side. That's probably going to sway the judges as far as what's landing and what's not. And he'll probably pick up a close decision like 8-4, to 7-5 type of decision. Even if it's not that close. I, I see Robert Easter. I see it going all 12 rounds. Um, what I would like to see him do because Shavikov, um he can't have a high guard when he's trying to push you toward the rope. But the thing about it is his elbows are kind of out. So using the long arms, shoot some body shots down there. A little bit of lateral movement. As soon as, you, um, as soon as he takes a step, shift, shoot it to the body. He's going to get tired of that. He's not going to be able to push you to the ropes as effectively. And then you have to make every other shot count. Be accurate, but you're going to have to... And he likes to throw three or four punches at a time, but I would like to take, have him take one punch away and bury the speeds up and, you know, for every two or three punches. Yeah. Um, for Shavikov, he's going to have to jab in. He's going to have to make him work. He's actually going to have to burn him out if he's going to be pushing him to the ropes. I think he can actually knock Easter down. Because Easter has been knocked down before. So I would I would say see if you can add a jab. You're gonna have to increase your activity because um, eventually you're gonna get to him. I'm not saying he doesn't have a chance, but yeah. um, he's really he's, I think it's going to be one of the like like I said, it's just a question on what the judges prefer. Yeah, yeah. this one. I say um because when Shafikov lands, he's gonna land and you're gonna know he landed. I think it's going to be a lot like, because uh, both of them are fought Richard Comey, um, and both of them are one split decisions versus Richard Comey, so I don't know if that says something to them or to Richard Comey. Uh, they are both good <laughs> fighters, and so is he. He just come up on the short end of both right. of those fights. Um, I think it's going to look a little bit like that. I just don't think Easter is going to allow himself to be put against the ropes. Yeah, because Comey is a big guy. Yeah. And so they were closer in height and size than Shafikov is. Mm hmm so it's, yeah, everything Rob said. So let's find out what happens on Friday. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like this video. Leave your thoughts on the fight below. Hit us up on all our social media networks. The links are down below as well. And we'll see you guys in the next video where we'll either see us talking about the Pacquiao-Jeff Horn fight or recapping this fight. Either way, we'll see you then. Until then, fight on. One, and you've already lost They don't seem to see that everything we've done is coming and gone My fists are on fire I perform till I perspire My demons are in a rage Keep thinking that it's a game I kick rhyme, hurricane I told them I don't play I'm liquid Black Street Fighter Street Fighter